So this is a question, not the big question, but just a question. How should we treat people who hate us, who actually want to treat, who want to harm us? I'm not asking what the, what the scripture says. I'm asking this from a, from a personal level. When you know someone hates you, when you know someone possibly might actually want to do you harm, what, what is your gut instinct to do? What, what is your gut instinct to treat them? How, how, how do we want to treat them? Yeah. How do we want to treat them? What would you say, Gracie? Yeah, you want to treat them badly, right? You want to stay away from them. You'd want to, you're, you're not going to be friends with these people, okay? So let's look at verse 34 through, or yeah, 43 through 44. What is Jesus doing here? What is Jesus saying here? What is, what is Jesus saying here when he says, but I say to you? Go for it. Okay. Let's, let's start at the first part of this. You've heard that it was said. What is Jesus saying here? Right, Jesus is referring to something in the Old Testament. You have heard it said, not just like the word around, like, the word around town, he is saying, there, there is something that has been said for a long, long time. But then he says, but I say to you. Now, what is Jesus doing there? No, no, no. I'm, I, he's changing the rules, right? Is that okay for Jesus to do? Can Jesus change the rules? Why? Okay, but is it, is it, is it wrong if Jesus has to change his rules? So what is Jesus doing to the rules? No. He's making them clearer. Because Jesus doesn't change. God doesn't change, right? God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. That's, that's in the Bible. Right? So God doesn't change. He's not changing the rules. What he's saying is, I'm making the rules clearer because y'all gunked up. You guys thought you knew the rules. I gave you the rules, and then you took them and twisted them into something else. You guys remember that? Yeah. Like last week, or not last week, the week before, Josh talked about oaths, right? How some people would be like, if I swear towards Jerusalem, it doesn't count, but if I swear at Jerusalem, it does count. Like they, they were taking these things, like making oaths, and they were twisting them and, and perverting them. And Jesus is like, guys, you don't get it. It's tell the truth. It's not swearing. It's not just loving your neighbors as yourself because that, they were perverting that same thing. What is he saying? Love your what? Your, your, your enemies, right? Okay, let's get on with this. Verse 45, what does this say? In your own words, what is it? What is he saying here? Forty-five. Yes. Okay. Then what does he say next? What does God do? He makes us rise. So what does he do for both people who are good and bad? Look at verse 45. For he makes what? The, the sun rise on both the... Okay, so what does that mean? So people who are good and bad, what do they get? They both get what? Okay, is the sun good or bad? Good. When you go outside, like it's been winter, right? And you go, and we've had like sunshine the last few days. Have you like just desperately wanted to go outside and just be like, the sun, like it's, it's good, right? Do wicked, evil people still get to go in the sunlight? Yes. Yeah, right? Why would God allow that? Yeah. 
he gives us this thing called common grace. Common grace is this. Common grace is things God gives both to believers and unbelievers, to both people who are good and bad. Common grace means that it is common for everyone to have. It is not uncommon. Does this make sense? This is a theological term. I'm, I'm teaching you guys some real next level stuff here. You guys didn't even pay for the master's level. Master's class, you guys are getting it. <laughs> God gives the things God gives to both believers and unbelievers, right? He gives good things to them, like water, like family, like marriage, right? Both people who don't believe in God and believe in God get to be married. It's a good thing, right? Both people who don't believe in God and believe in God get to drink water and like when you're really thirsty, Water hits a spot. All right, let's move on. Verse 46 and 47. Oh my goodness. Who are the tax collectors? What kind of reputation? Matthew. What kind of, yeah, Matthew was a, a tax collector. Um, but who, who, like, what kind of reputation do they have? Why, why do they have a bad reputation? They would take extra money, right? Tax collectors were supposed to collect taxes, right? But they would sometimes fudge the numbers and they would collect more, right? They would be like, they'd be like, oh, you know, like Hudson, he owes like $37, but I'm going to take $48 from him. And the, the extra, I'm going to keep for myself. They weren't allowed to do that. That's the thing. They just did it anyways. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. No one enforced it, right? So if no one enforces it, they're kind of allowed to do it. Yep. Okay. So what, so what is he saying here? If, if, he, if he's saying, if you love those who love you and reward, what reward do you have? Even the tax collectors do the same thing. What, what is he saying? What kind of point is he making? Yeah, right? Like, is it a noble task that I would love my father? No. Would you be like, wow, Mitchell, that is like, that is just incredible. Can't believe you'd do that. You would love your dad. No? It's like normal, right? Right? If you guys, if you guys told me, you're like, I care and love for my parents, I wouldn't be like, I can't believe it. <laughs> like, I'd be like, yeah, duh. Like, there's a problem if you don't, right? <laughs> No, this is an expectation that we should love those who love us, right? You're not going above and beyond to love those who love you. So why does, why does Jesus end this with verse 48? Why would he say such a thing in this passage? I guess, let me ask this, what, what, is, what is love? Can you, in terms of, like, uh, uh, of loving some, someone else, what, what is that? Someone define it. Caring for each other? But not just caring for each other, because I can care for you guys, right? And I love you guys, but it's not like I love my wife, right? There's a different, there's a different level, right? The kind of level that Jesus is talking here is that next level kind of love. Mm 